So this is my train, like I said before, and it's uh, it's actually a sleeper. Um, it's going to go directly to Kiev, and very nice. You get a bathroom at the end. I'm in number 15, and uh, it's a nice little nice little room, nice and clean. So I'll get back to you. I have uh, Nata uh, Natalia just gave me a combination hybrid uh, fruit that is a combination of a fig and a peach. I've never seen anything like this ever. Let me see if I can. Oh, yeah, there we go. I get it in the shot. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, it's I don't know why I've never heard of it. It's very sweet and very tasty. It's very sweet and very tasty. And, uh, let me see. So? My goodness. That's incredible. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Why haven't I ever heard of this mix? A fig and a, a peach. <laughs> it's really delicious. Thanks for introducing me to, to this. Cause I, <laughs> I never probably would have experienced it. I'm happy <laughs> for you. Thanks. Do you have a block? Um, yeah. Uh, so, folks, I'm exiting the uh, train from Was from uh, Chelm to Kiev, and we're in Kiev now. Um, I'll uh, speak to you all. Later. So here we are in Kiev. Finally. And, uh, I didn't think I'd be back here so soon, but. I'm glad I am, I forgot. I had to go back to re-sign my lease at home, and then I had to do a couple of other things that I forgot about. So luckily I did go back. Um, but I forgot paperwork for my D04 work permit. Uh, now I gotta go back, I gotta see my banker maybe. Hopefully I'll see him today. And, um, I get a six six months worth of salary in the account, and then I'll uh, um, I'll do a few other things. So I'll talk to you later. Okay, guys. So I'm uh, headed out of the train station and um, going out. I'm gonna I'm gonna find. Well, I, I'm gonna hail a. A, um, on the hill, hey, an Uber. I'll open up my app on my phone and get an Uber. Um, and uh, so that's what's convenient about it. You know, it's a set price. Uh, so. So this is. This is Kiev the, the way I left it. Still intact. I like these overcast, cloudy days. I love them. I don't know what it is. Call me morbid, but I love these days. So I'll uh, I'll talk to you all later on. See you later. Just look at the hustle and the bustle of this city. It's it's a it's a European city. It's it's just so vital. And you know, it's uh, you know, it's just it's a really active city. Look at all this. This is just incredible. I I missed it and I'm back. I'm glad I'm here. Well, folks, I'm sitting down having my breakfast. This is a um, a place that's right next door to where I live here in Kiev, where I rent an apartment. And um, 
this place has some really good breakfast food that I uh, order up in the uh, store and then they bring it down here to the restaurant. Um, this is the restaurant right here. And this is my, my omelet with cheese, tomato, ham, and um, uh, cheese, tomato, ham, and um, something else, I forget. Cheese, tomato, ham. But and then there's tomatoes there, a little salad. But uh, so I'll talk to you people later. So hey, good morning, folks. This is. Let's look at the date. I don't want to lose track of, track of time. I just got to sleep after being up three days, over three days. I went home. Didn't think I was gonna. I was supposed to text with somebody. They said, I'll text you in a few minutes. I got home, laid down for a minute. Four hours later, I woke up, then I went back. So I got some sleep. Uh, so it is Saturday, September 23rd. Uh, I'm right here in Maidan Square, as you can see. And um, I'm here to actually pick up some paperwork for my D04 work permit and to uh, talk with uh, fleet owners and um, talk to some advertising people but also visit with some friends that keep on texting me and I, I've got to get back to them uh, I just wanted to pretty much uh, get myself rested up for us but like I said here we are in Maidan Square here's is just uh, this ever-growing uh, memorial of flags, a display of uh, just some of the, the Ukrainian and uh, mercenary foreign fighters who have died in the war against Russia. Uh, and as you can see, there are some American, uh, you know, soldiers fighters that uh, have succumbed and and there is the Azov regime right there but there's there's more Americans that have died than just that one guy and but the thing is is you know if uh no I sorry I uh thing is if, if the United States pulls out of Ukraine like they did in Afghanistan then this place is going to go to shambles. I'm all set. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine because they... Uh... All right, the, uh, the story continues. This is just a basic day here. We got um, a bunch of people that are... Uh... Oh, this is the fell on done. Yeah, they get them all. I've seen them all over the place. Boston, Common, Chinese, the Tibetans. Yeah, of course. Have a good day. We, I, I see you people in Boston, Massachusetts on the Boston Common too. Yeah. <laughs> see you later. All right. I just spoke with my my uh, attorney slash accountant. I, I'm very lucky to have found her uh, because I could have actually got involved with somebody quite the opposite. She is totally professional, legitimate, uh, law-abiding, and does not take advantage at all. She's just really incredible. This is 
just some of the street scenes right here. How you doing, brother? Let's see, if I, let's see if I can give this guy some, some, some bells here. I'll talk to you people later. Hey folks, what if God was one of us? See that? Again, a nice day in Kiev where lots of people live in a Nazi reality. And if, if uh, they run out of Patriot anti missile systems or weapons, the alternate reality could be threatened. So let's just hope that the conservatives, and that which I am, I'm conservative. They do, and it, it, it's the only thing about the Biden administration that I do approve is the support of Ukraine militarily and with weapons. But the conservatives have to work out a program to make sure Ukraine is funded to get rid of the monsters.